Who are some of the biggest donors you have, and is there a restriction on how much money they can give you? Um, we don't have any restriction, uh, but I would say our, our biggest donors are, uh, for example, the um, uh, uh, the Open Society Institute is a, a very big donor. The, and whose who's organization is that? Well, it's, an, it's a foundation, but uh, it's well known to be uh, George Soros is the one who funds it. The Wallace Global Fund gives us money. Um, <clears throat> the ARCA Foundation gives us money. Those are... Yes, the person who sent this video out on Twitter wrote, the founder of the group behind the lawsuit removing President Trump from the Corallo ballot reveals their largest donor is George Soros. I believe you've seen this. A lot of people actually talked about this when this happened, and I saw this on social media I actually confirm after i watched this video it's a foundation but uh, it's well known to be uh, george soros is the one who funds it the wallace global fund gives us money um <clears throat> the arca foundation gives us money those are some of the big foundations where we carnegie corporation gives us money you you do see a thread through the different sides in this where a, a big donor like george soros will give to an awful lot of progressive organizations does it does he ever ask for anything directly no, he, and I have met him, and he's never asked for anything at all. And uh, I meet with the program officer from, uh, from the Open Society Institute, and they're very happy with what we do, and uh, they're very uh, keen on transparency. We're part of their democracy. Yes, breaking news. Colorado Secretary of State says Trump is back on the ballot unless the Supreme Court rules he should be disqualified. Going down this article published by the Daily Mail, Donald Trump is back on the presidential ballot in Colorado after an appeal put a stay on the ruling that removed him. Peter, it strikes me we've talked about Michigan. That's the big news we came in on. We've just talked about Maine. But I go back to the point that Joyce made earlier about the fact that there's going to have to be a unified understanding. This is not going to work if there is a patchwork of state solutions. She is thinking of that, uh, of course, legally. That is the role we ask her to play for you from a security perspective, right, from a sense of people being able to get on board and say, these are the rules, whether or not you like them. This is how we are proceeding as a nation. Both your biggest concerns and sort of the best path forward here, if we are able to get to a unified understanding. Well, my biggest concern is that we have the presumptive Republican nominee for president who has and continues to engage in calls for violence from his supporters. And look, there's an interesting data point here. No, Just shortly after the Michigan Supreme Court indicated they weren't going to take this up, Donald Trump took to Truth Social and lauded their decision, talked about how they were absolutely right. It would be very interesting. You know, Frank pointed out how the FBI in Colorado out of the Denver office is actively working the threats to the Colorado justices. Let's take a look at the data coming out of Michigan. Are there any threats right now to those Michigan Supreme Court justices who decided not to hear the case? Because the fact of the matter is, this isn't an environment where everybody is prone to violence. The fact of the matter is, this is an environment where adherents and supporters of the former president are engaging in threats of violence, and there is a comparative absence of any sort of like behavior on the side. You don't see supporters of Joe Biden going out and threatening Michigan uh, Supreme Court justices. So my worry is that Donald Trump is not constraining any of his behavior. His words result in violent action. It isn't stopping. He is well aware of what's going on. And I think whatever we see coming out of the Supreme Court, there is going to, they can't unwrite the 14th Amendment. There is going to have to be some provision that if somebody engages in insurrection, that that does potentially disqualify them from the presidency in some way, in some manner of determining that. Trump is not going to like that. And so the question is, as we move down into 2024, we've got a slow boil right now but that pot is just going to get hotter and hotter and hotter on the oven I, I want yes this is coming after michigan supreme court just ruled that trump will remain on michigan 2024 primary ballot other democrat think this is a play into trump hand makes him only politically stronger actually for his argument that the deep state is trying to hold him down libras are melting down after this happened, now this secretary is coming out to say, oh, Trump can remain on the ballot unless the Supreme Court decides to say this, to say that it is to tell how panicking they can be. 
there is something that actually disturbed me from Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis say, former President Trump is fine with weaponization if it is against people. He doesn't like warning Trump is likely to use the power of government against his political opponent if elected again in a new interview. Okay, you see exactly how Ron DeSantis is using this same talking point as Democrat. I have seen CNN and MNBC singing Trump is now sounding like Hitler, sounding like this. He has fallen into that same hand, talking the same thing that Trump will be a dictator if elected. He can clearly signal something. A state Supreme Court in Michigan has just rejected an effort to remove Donald Trump from that state's primary ballot. CNN's Caitlin Polance has all the details coming in early, the, early today. Caitlin, this ruling comes eight days after Colorado Supreme Court ruled that Trump should be removed from the ballot. Tell us about what the Supreme Court in Michigan is saying now. Well, every state is following their own rules and their own processes for how to have candidates on the ballots. And this is why we're seeing something so different in Michigan today. The highest court in Miss Michigan, seven justices determining they're not going to get involved. The lower courts in Michigan said that they acknowledged that there were challenges to Trump being on the primary ballot there. And the lower court said, we also are not getting involved. This is not something for us to determine. And they weren't weighing in on the general election either at that time. And so now this case goes to the Michigan Supreme Court. They looked at it and they said, yeah, we're not going to do anything here either. But one of the justices in Michigan did write uh, today in this ruling that Michigan is very different from Colorado. The laws are different around who qualifies for their primary ballots there. And that is one of the reasons why that state is ending up with a different situation about determining whether Donald Trump can be on the ballot because of the constitutional ban on insurrectionists running for office. To look at the lower court ruling that disqualified Trump from running on the presidential ballot in the state due to his rule in the January 6th, Capitol riot. Colorado Secretary of State Jenny announced that Trump will, for the time being, remain on the ballot, which goes to print on January 5th unless the Supreme Court affirms the lower court ruling or otherwise declined to take on the appeal. The 4 3 ruling earlier this month said Trump would not appear on the state primary ballot connected to a 115 year old 14 amendment clause that banned those from office who engage in although Colorado 10 electoral college votes are unlikely to go to the Republican candidate anyway in the general election and the state isn't highly important in the Gulf primary the ruling could not set precedent for a slew of other states looking to remove Trump from the ballot. I believe you can see how they are changing their tone after a massive backlash and what other states did rejected to do the same thing. I know they are regretting. A lot of things are actually happening.